Guys, what is like the worst gift you've ever given anyone for Christmas? <laughs> I don't give bad gifts. I give funny gifts. Okay, there has to be like a terrible gift that one day you're like, fuck, I can't believe I just did that. That's so embarrassing. No, I've actually never, never. done that. I've never done that, but I've like given like a- I feel like Olivia thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel like I give good gifts. Mm. Okay, what's a bad gift? And then, um, okay, I can name yeah. a bad gift that I will never wear that Olivia gave me that I pretend that I like. Was it the black see-through robe yes. that I spent a lot of money on? Yes, for my birthday, she got me a black see-through robe with like fuzz balls on it. She's yes. Like, she's like, you it's, can wear it's this. so pretty. You can wear I this for Mike you. later. And <laughs> as soon as I saw it, I was like, mm, mm, thank you, Olivia. <laughs> Do you remember how I was like, I was like, Lana, don't forget to pack that robe for your vacation. You're like, yeah, sure, I won't. <laughs> she did it. And I was wondering, I was like, she's like, on I call her, I call her. I was like, hey, you forgot to grab that black robe that I got. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Mike told me to never wear that brand. You it's know like what? I'll take I, it back. It was like cute. something that a grandma would wear. I want to no, see it. No, it's very, it's very 80s. You would like it now for photo shoots. That's why I bought it. I want to see it. I yeah, see you it. would like. It. Actually, I feel like you've worn one of them. It's the, it's the pink one that you have at your house. No, a pink one with would a be fuzzy, cute, but like but it was black, black and like fluffy. I look like an Elvira. No, you don't. You would look hot. What's a funny gift? A funny gift? Yeah. Wait, didn't you like say that you've given a molded, a molding of your vagina before? <laughs> Yeah, last really Christmas. <laughs> last Christmas, last. my ex-boyfriend said all he wanted for Christmas was to be with me in a sexual manner. Really? I've actually had boyfriends tell me whenever I said, I can't wait to tell you your birthday surprise. And they've been like, it's not sex, right? <gasps> I've had to okay. say that to me. Well, we weren't together and we weren't oh. hooking up. And oh, so that's all that he wanted. Sense. And I wasn't down. So then I thought it was really cl like clever and smart to have a mold of my vagina and I gave it to him for Christmas, but I had to keep texting like, don't open that in front of your family. Please don't open that in front of your family. Because <laughs> we always like FaceTime and we open gifts around each other and I was like, go to your car and open this gift. Like, I don't want them to see my vagina mold. <laughs> but it was so funny. Like it literally was a friend and I had to like spread leg, like open everything. She helped me mix the mold and we had to hold it on there. Like you, you know, have you ever done it? Or no? Well, no, so guys, I actually have a professional pocket made after me. So I've been through this whole experience <laughs> um, of making a pocket. And <laughs> men all across the world jerk off in my vagina. Wow. Yeah. I've only made one, but I thought about making more for fun. It was kind of fun, I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> I think he really did use it. Really? Uh, he probably still does. He no, did he did use it. I know he did for sure. Some he still does. Come on, we all know. Mike informed me that some brand is sending him some sort of jerk off tool <laughs> that has like electric vibrations that go through your that are supposed what? to give you like the best orgasm of your life. And I don't want him to use it. Cause I'm like, if it has these crazy like vibrations going through then how's my gonna feel after that? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I'm like low key like jealous as but I convinced him to let me use it on him. So at least it's like affiliated with me. Somehow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be interesting. Let us know how that goes. Damn. Wait, anything from you? No, no funny gifts? I mean, uh, I don't know. I feel like I had this one just, I, I had an ex who just did not know, like, he even admitted though, he literally said, I'm just not good at like buying gifts, but he was like, he had money, he was very wealthy, but he still would go to Ross and like literally buy like, you told me about it. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. Like, listen, if you're watching this, like you were a great boyfriend, but dude, you gotta step it up. Like, Wait, it's like, come on. Like I actually went all out and like bought him something nice. And it's like the Nav song. He took you shopping at Ross. Oh my, no, like literally. So I see a Sephora bag, right? It's big. I'm like, fuck yes. Like, oh my God, he got me something from Sephora. Oh, hopefully it's like Tata, you know, like the bougie skincare lines, like in Too Faced, something. I open it up. It's a Clinique set. The one, the one, two, three step Clinique set. Like, dude, I haven't used that since 2009. Okay, like, are you're you lying serious? because there's Clinique in your shower and I use it this morning on my face. <laughs> yeah, and you know I was what? like, what? She was yeah, just do you know? It's probably, it's, 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 it's the one he gave me. It's the one he gave me. It's in her shower. That is my last resort. Like, I'm sorry, but anything that's in my shower is like, don't, like, that's like my last resort to wash. So do you take everything out of your shower when you get, like, what do you use? And I'm confused. What's your first resort? No, I have resort? the, I have the nice stuff, like, by my sink, but like, if I forget to wash my face, then I just want, like, while I'm in the shower, I have to use something. Yeah, I was like reaching up for that freaking orange, yeah. the orange conditioner, and I was like, I see Clinique. <laughs> I see Clinique. Well, anyways, but I was just, I was really, I was like, what? And he even told me that he had someone like professionally help him to find like, no, the best No, he didn't. Gift. He had some random stranger outside be like, 
hey, get her this. Yeah, get her Clinique. Oh, She'll love no, that. no. He probably went to one of the counters in the mall and he was like, what should I get my girlfriend for Christmas? And they probably just want to sell him some shit. So they were like, here's this pack of Clinique. Yeah. yeah. That honestly is probably what happened. <laughs> That is what happened. That's what he meant by professional. Was a well, hopefully, girl at the makeup counter. Hopefully, he's getting whoever he's dating now better gifts. I hope so. Honestly, though, I I got really good gifts from my ex. He bought me a freaking MacBook one Christmas. So we really? use it every day. Yeah, that was a really good gift. I've gotten a few good gifts from my current boyfriend, Michael Malak. <laughs> I got a Cartier watch. I got a Louis Vuitton duffel bag, which I returned the favor and bought him one back. Um, and we're gonna see what I'm about to get for Christmas and our one year anniversary. That's oh yeah, what do you think he's gonna get you for Christmas? Have you like had any thoughts? Okay, so we actually had a conversation about it and as much as I just said he's gonna get me a Christmas gift, I think we both decided that we're going to spend the money that we spent on each other on our families this Christmas. Aww, that's, yeah. that's really sweet. Also, we're thinking about like maybe doing some sort of like charity thing for like a homeless person. Yes, um, I love yeah. that. Yeah, so... We're, we might not get each other Christmas gifts, but anniversary is like anniversary. Is, <laughs> anniversary is like a month. Get anniversary! Better. So he better will, give me a gift. I He's not getting one. I will get all the diamonds mm. for our anniversary. Yeah, drop here what you think he might get you. Oh. So. Yes, or suggestions. Yeah, that's oh, what we're yeah, saying. That's a good, yeah. Do you guys know of any good diamond earrings? <laughs> any places? Any places? I'm like, I have a jeweler. Wait, yeah, your jeweler. I she do does. have a jeweler. She have Custom jewelry, yeah. Mm. She will actually hook it up. And we'll find out if it's fake or real. So whatever he gets you, let us know. I feel like I'm really good at gifts, though. Don't you think? Have I ever got you anything? I feel like I have. I'm like, I don't Well, like random things, yeah. Yeah, like I got you a Prada hat. Yeah. Matching. Like you do, Did you even like take the... your Ugg sneakers that I got you yet? I think, see? <laughs> I'm like, no, actually, I... everything is still at your house because I literally cannot accept anything you ever buy me. I, no, I just I want think, you to know it actually think... makes me feel really weird. Stop <laughs> buying me designer because I will not take it home. <laughs> I'll take literally, it. It's because buys us like matching Uggs, <laughs> matching Prada hats, and I'm like, I can't accept this. This is like half of my rent, no, sweetie. It's so, it's so that we can match. <laughs> she just doesn't want you to look bad. Oh, wow. No, so honestly, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be honest though. The stuff that I bought for us, I would never like wear by myself because it's so cringy and ugly. Like they're like bright pink and bright green boots. Like I would never wear those by myself. 